Hey friend, my name is Levi and I'm an adventure documentary filmmaker from British Columbia, Canada. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing the Flex 2 Light Kit from FJ Westcott, as well as their lithium ion batteries. This kit has become an instant favorite of mine and it's, it's not very often that I get this excited about lighting gear. I've been using and testing this lighting kit across the past several months while shooting my new web series about slacklining and highlining. In this review, I'm gonna explain what I love about this setup, how I've been using it, and my overall thoughts on this type of kit. The first look at this lighting kit, its biggest feature stands out immediately, the size and portability of this setup. Most of the projects I work on require all of the gear to be carried in by myself. If I can't carry it in, I can't take it with me. This means that almost every traditional interview lighting setup isn't even considered as an option. To this point, there really hasn't been a powerful portable setup that really has met my needs. And I'm really excited about this kit from Westcott because it not only meets those needs, but surpasses my expectations of what's possible in a kit this size. To keep all the gear together, they included this fantastic bag from Think Tank. So this bag can hold everything I need for my lighting kit. And when you, you see it there, you really get a sense for how powerful the setup is because that bag right there is my entire lighting kit. So that's why I'm so excited just right off the start about this lighting kit is the fact that you can actually take it with you into the outdoors and have high quality light that you can actually light with outside. That's just phenomenal. And I'll show you some of my results that I was getting with it in a little bit. Next up though, let's address the build quality. The panels themselves are incredibly thin. They're water resistant and the materials have a very nice high quality feel. They are made to be mounted in any location you can think of with Velcro on both sides and the ability to shape the light whichever way you choose. All of the connections have these great barrel lockers on them to ensure you have a solid connection. I've had experience with other LED panels that even after just using them for a few months, the connectors start to go and you have to like prop the cable in like just the right direction so that way the light stays on. So I'm thankful that having connectors that I can trust is not gonna be an issue with this kit. And so far I've been really abusing this setup and it's been holding up fantastic. It's, it's hard to detect any kind of wear across the kit so far. For powering these lights in the outdoors, you can use their lithium ion battery packs. These things are a really solid build and they have great indicator lights to show the power level left. They have DTAP for powering the lights and also this handy USB port for powering any other accessories in your kit. For controlling the light, you have an on and off switch and a dimmer control. In my shooting, I was getting three to three and a half hours of battery life from these batteries when I had the lights on on full. So that meant I could stretch the batteries across several interviews and be set to go. You can simply tape or clip these lights to whatever location you plan on using it, but it also comes with an X bracket to help mount it to the light stands. Also included in the kit is a quarter stop diffuser that you can stretch across the X bracket to hold it in place. This is fantastic and I use this simple diffusion method all the time with the flex lights. So how do the flex lights actually perform as lights? My first time powering it on, I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of light output from these panels. These, without a doubt, are the brightest LED panels in this size I have ever used. When shooting my web series, I most often use the flex lights for these quick interview setups I would do on location. I shot a majority of these outdoors, so it's a big ask for an LED light to compete with the ambient light of the sun, even on a cloudy day. These panels put out enough light that I was getting some setups that I was really happy with. I would typically try to put my subject facing away from the brightest source of natural light and then use a single flex light with diffusion on as close as I could to the subject without entering the frame. I would often position the light about 45 degrees to one side of the talent and then about 45 degrees pointing down. This allowed me to mimic a more natural source of light and the result is an image that looks less lit which is essentially what I'm going for with my documentary style interviews. Having the flex light instead of just using the natural light available allowed me to film their faces nicely and add a catch light for their eyes. Having that catch light visible in their eyes is huge for allowing the eyes to actually stand out in the image. And I love that about interview shots when you can actually see the eyes. This setup would also help balance the exposure of my image as it would bring up the light on my subject so that way I could keep the background from blowing out. 
In some cases, I would gang up both panels side by side and then dim them slightly to create a larger source of softer light. To give you an idea of how much output these light panels have, for indoor setups, I would rarely have to use the light at full power. I would often just have my key light at around 50% at most, and this was still tons of light to work with. There really is just infinite options of what you do with this additional light here. If you wanna use it to add fill or bounce it, there's, there's just so many possibilities with two of these panels. In my case, I used it as a hair light in my indoor interviews. I also added some gels to add some color contrast. These interview setups are where you really see the flex light stand out from the pack of other cheaply built LED panels. I so often stay away from LED panels on the market because they are so often plagued with terrible green cast, inaccurate white balance, and flickering as you start to dim them. When you have a bad light source, it can make the skin tones of your subject look, look terrible. It really does make a difference. And I can assure you, a zombie look on my subject is not the look I'm going for. The Flex Light had none of these issues and would render skin tones naturally and beautifully. I was using the daylight panels and they mixed perfectly with natural light. For dialing these lights in for interviews, I loved having the power cord extender. This would allow me to quickly adjust the brightness of the lights from sitting by the camera so I could see the results of my lighting setup change in real time. Across the past months of using it, the only flaw I really found in the kit was actually the bracket that would mount the X-frame to a light stand. I wish that it was just a simple ball head. I know that they intended to use this clip thing so you can attach it to other sorts of frames and things like that, but I really just found the clip would get in the way and wouldn't really allow me to easily position it at the right angle that I wanted. So I frankly just found this clip thing kind of annoying and wish that had just been a ball head but really that's the, the only flaw that I can find in this kit as far as functionality goes. So in conclusion, I have to say, I, I'm just so stoked about this lighting setup. And someone that makes adventure documentaries, lighting isn't normally the thing that gets me excited. And frankly, I don't normally use lights on my shoots because I just can't bring them along. But now that I have this flex light kit, I'm actually like daydreaming about different ways that I can use these lights to add some dynamic into my images and especially just kill those interview shots. I'm really happy with the results I was getting with this kit in the field. As far as the research that I've done and the different lights that I've used over the years, there really isn't another kit that exists like this that's this portable, has amazing quality light, and is actually useful in pretty much every shooting scenario. That's, that's pretty incredible. So hands down, this lighting kit is, is incredible. I'm really excited with it as a setup and I can't wait to see the different ways I'm gonna use it in the future.